to leash? Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing today? Jason? Yes, here. Michelle? Yes, here. Kevin? Kevin! Is he absent today? Yes, he is absent. Jenna? Yes, here. Okay, please sit down, everyone. Let's begin today's lesson. Today, we'll learn about a fraction. Does anyone know the definition of a fraction? What's a fraction? Hmm. Michelle? What's a fraction? Hmm. Percent? Very close. Jason? A part? Louder, please. A part of whole? Right. Great job. Okay. You guys did a really good job. Now open your textbook page 10. Let's start at line 2. Jenna, can you read, please? A fraction is something that shows part of a whole. A common fraction is made up of a numerator and a denominator. Great job, Jenna. What's a fraction usually made up of then? A numerator and a denominator. But teacher, what are these? Okay, now look at the whiteboard, please. A fraction has two parts. The top number is called a numerator, and it's 분자 in Korean. It tells how many parts we're talking about, and the bottom number is called a denominator, and it's 분모 in Korean. It tells the total number of parts. We use cardinal numbers for a numerator, And cardinal numbers are 1, 2, 3, and 4. 하나, 두, 셋, 넷 in Korean. We use ordinal numbers for denominator. Ordinal numbers are 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. 첫 번째, 두 번째, 세 번째, 네 번째 in Korean. So, when it's this fraction, the numerator is 3 and denominator is 4. So, The numerator 3 is just 3. And for the denominator 4, we put th after 4. Fourth. So it's 3 fourth. Or we can just call it 3 out of 4. Because the numerator 3 is a part that we're talking about, and the denominator 4 is the total number of parts. So we have two ways to call this fraction, 3 fourth and 3 out of 4. Let's take a look at the first question. 1 fourth plus 2 fourth. As we learned, we put th after the denominators. So call them fourth. And the denominators are all same, so we'll leave the same denominator for. And we'll just add numerators 1 and 2. 1 plus 2 equals 3. After you add the numerators, and just put that answer over the denominator. So, what's the answer? The answer is 3 fourths. Let's try the second question. 1 fourth plus 5 twelfths. It looks a little bit harder because the denominators are different. 4 and 12. You can add them like this. So we'll make the same before we continue. We'll multiply the top and the bottom of the first fraction by 3. 4 times 3 equals 12. 1 times 3 equals 3. Now, we have the same denominators, 12. We'll just add numerators 3 and 5. 3 plus 5 equals 8. So, What's the answer? Yeah, 8 twelve. Good, great, excellent, awesome. Any questions? Did you guys understand? Yes! yes! For homework, please do the exercise on page 13. The lesson is over for today. Have a good day!
Chalish? <laughs>